Hello everybody, good evening. We have this work order. This is a locking bar 400 FTXL. It's 400,000 BTUs and it serves 12 apartments. The problem we have is the lockout. After trying a few times to start, it couldn't due to an inlet sensor fault. I'm gonna take you step by step how to replace the inlet sensor but I'm gonna show you how to be careful and don't be distracted with the Delta T high. So uh, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. This is a screen, this is the fault, it's lockout. And if you see, the second line is Delta T high. Uh, the delta T is too high, it's high. And then all the way at the bottom it says inlet sensor fault. So be careful here. Um, the fault is at the bottom, is inlet sensor fault. Delta T high, uh, the delta T is high because the sensor failed. So if you go to the troubleshooting section and find delta T high, it's gonna be uh, something different. It's gonna tell you to check the pump. It's gonna tell you to check um, the piping. It's gonna tell you to check, um, but you know that your boiler has been working and the pump is the same, it hasn't changed. So that's not to blame. So we have to focus on the inlet sensor fault. Okay, and now let's go. Okay, so this is the service manual, the FTXL service manual and it's going to be your best friend in this case because it's going to tell you all the codes all the faults and how to fix them it's going to give you some troubleshooting too so uh our boiler is the 400,000 btus right here okay um so now we're going to go to uh the faults so it's going to be Okay, so right here, we're going to look for the inlet sensor. And this is the troubleshooting section of the book. So right here, it says inlet sensor, inlet outlet or flu sensor, either the flu inlet water or outlet water temperature sensor has been disconnected or shorted. In this case, I check the connections and the connections are fine, but it's shorted inside so that's why it's not communicating with the control board and what happens is the control board is not sensing it so uh since it's zero degree or none the temperature of the inlet the control board is gonna say hey what's going on there's something wrong here so i'm gonna disable the the whole boiler because of the temperature, the delta T being too high is because you don't have anything to compare with. So to make sure everything is going to be okay, it's going to shut it off, it's going to lock it out, it's going to lock it, and then you have to go and check the inlet sensor. Okay, right here. So that's what we're going to do. And if you... Um, let's go and look for delta t okay so let's go if you um at the top of of our screen it says delta t high so the temperature rise across the heat exchanger has exceeded the set parameters for the boiler so it's not that it exceeded it but it didn't find it so it's going to protect itself and for that, it asks you so many things. You verify the system that has full of water, that is piped properly, check 120 volts at the pump. Uh, so in this case, we didn't have 100, 120 volts at the pump um, because, the, because, because the control board was disabled so it didn't sense the 120 volts to the pump but that was because the inlet sensor was faulty so right here 
uh, check 120 to the boiler pump motor on a call for heat. If voltage is not present, check the wiring back to the main control board. Replace the main control board if necessary. So you have to be careful. Uh, this is what could happen, but really the fault is the inlet sensor not working. It's shut it out. So don't go and buy um, the control board because this is the control board is fine. It's just that it has to protect itself. So always go and look for the fault. So we're gonna remove, just push out, lift, and put aside. So um, let me show you here in the back of your boiler. You have the outlet and then you have the inlet at the bottom right there so that's the inlet so go inside the boiler and we're gonna look for the inlet sensor so right there so that that's the sensor we're gonna replace so the first thing we're gonna do turn the power off and then shut all the valves that you see, all the supply and all the return because we're gonna open up the system. So this is the supply. This is the supply, so we're gonna... Every valve you see. Because once you open the system, the system, the water wants to get out from whatever it can. So we're not gonna allow that. We're gonna remove some water from here. So uh, when we remove the part, we don't have water coming or at least not so much water. And I open up that, but there's no water coming out because there's it's in a vacuum. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna release the, allow some air to come in. Look at that. I'm pressing here on this valve and the water comes out there from that uh, silcock. So it, it was maybe one liter of water. It wasn't that much. And now we're gonna remove the inlet sensor. First, I'm gonna disconnect it from here. Just press on this side, on the right side, press and then lift. It's very easy. So now it is loose, but before I remove it, I'm gonna prepare the other one. I can remove it by hand. So I'm gonna prepare the other one so when I remove it, not too much air goes into the system. So we have our sensor here. And the part number is 10020-8549. Locking bar part. This is the old one. And this is the new one. So if you hear that is the air coming into the system. And uh, don't forget to apply a couple turns of um, Teflon tape to the sensor. That's it. 
Ada yang ketutak That's it Now we're gonna try, we're gonna open all the valves And this is the air separator It's gonna, since we introduce air to the system by removing that water And when we remove the part, some air came into the system so the job of this air separator is gonna get the air out. So uh, let's open up all the valves, the ones we close. Look at that, can you hear that? That's air coming out. This is an awesome, component it's like halafi now we're going to turn it on make sure you have at least 12 pounds of pressure or whatever pounds you like in your system we just turn it on but uh it's still on lockout because it requires a manual resetting so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to reset it And look at that, it, it's working. Ignition. It's working now, how about that? If you see there, it says inlet. It is, inlet is 97, 98, and the outlet is 107. Before, the inlet was not recorded, it, it said none. So that's why it, 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 it says that the delta T was too high because we didn't have any numbers for the inlet. So the computer said, hey, something is wrong. I don't have the inlet temperature. So let's just call it delta T too high. So it went into lockout. So, so that's it, it's working now. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you can. That would help me a lot. Thank you so much and see you next video.